Hello, I am Dr. Wafa Ibadawi, a consultant histopathologist. I'll be talking about epithelial neoplasms of the ovary, ovarian clear cell tumors. Classification of clear cell tumors modified from WHO benign less than 1% vanishingly rare borderline less than 1% malignant 99% definition and general background of clear cell carcinoma clear cell carcinoma is an aggressive malignant epithelial tumor with clear cell differentiation it is composed of epithelial cells containing glycogen-rich clear cytoplasm and hobnail cells. It is recognized as of Mullerian derivation. It is the second most common type of epithelial ovarian cancers, representing 5 to 25 percent of ovarian carcinomas. Unlike cervicovaginal clear cell carcinoma, ovarian clear cell carcinoma is not related to the exposure to diethylstilbestirol (DES). Clear cell carcinoma is the most common epithelial ovarian neoplasm to be associated with pelvic endometriosis. 50 to 70 percent, one fourth arise in endometriotic cyst. Vascular thrombotic events such as pelvic venous thrombosis increase the risk for deep myometrial invasion, paraneoblastic hypercalcemia, metastasis. The mean age of patients with the clear cell carcinoma is. 50 to 53 years. Symptoms usually relate to a pelvic or abdominal mass. Mutations in KRAS, BRAF, and TP53 are present in some clear cell carcinomas, but their frequency is generally low. MRI findings for clear cell carcinoma Axial and sagittal T2 weighted imaging with fat saturation show an oval unilocular cystic mass with papillary projections. See the arrows. These two photos show axial and sagittal contrast enhanced T1 weighted imaging T1W1 with fat saturation showing prominent enhancement in solid components. Gross appearance of ovarian clear cell carcinoma. This photo shows a solid and cystic fleshy cut surface with pale yellow to brown appearance. These two photos show clear cell carcinoma arising in an endometriotic cyst and containing fleshy mural nodules. The inner surfaces show areas of brown discoloration and blood clots. The relationship with endometriosis is strongest for clear cell carcinoma among all cell types of ovarian carcinomas. Microscopic features Clear cell carcinoma can have a variety of growth patterns. Solid sheet-like pattern, tubulocystic pattern, tubulopapillary pattern, papillary pattern, or a combination of the previous patterns. Clear cell carcinoma solid pattern. 
The cells are organized in solid sheets and demonstrate clear vacuolated cytoplasm. High grade nuclei grade 3 with marked enlargement, irregular outlines, smudged chromatin, and prominent nucleoli. Rare apoptotic bodies are seen. Clear cell carcinoma tubulocystic glandular pattern. Malignant cells with high-grade nuclei, prominent nucleoli, and abundant clear cytoplasm grow in a glandular arrangement. This morphology may overlap with endometrioid carcinomas with clear cell features. Clear cell carcinoma tubulopapillary and papillary patterns. They typically show is xenophilic hyalinized course surrounded by a relatively monotonous population of malignant clear cells with prominent hobnail nuclei, tomb stone appearance. Clear cell carcinoma papillary pattern. This photo shows a papillary tumor exhibiting characteristic features, including hyalinized stroma, that is, hyalinized papillae, which are lined by cells with clear to granular xenophilic cytoplasm, pileomorphic nuclei with hobnail or tombstone appearance. Stromal Hyalinization is a common and distinctive feature of clear cell carcinoma with the stroma of papillae distended by basement membrane material. Clear cell carcinoma oxyphilic variant. This photo shows clear cells and cells with abundant xenophilic cytoplasm that is oxyphilic cells because the cytoplasm is not as glycogen rich. These two photos show marked variation in nuclear atypia ranging from minimal to marked. Other areas of tumor, however, may display more characteristic clear cell features. This is not an unusual feature of clear cell carcinoma. Clear cell carcinoma adenofibromatous pattern. In a minority of cases, there is a prominent adenofibromatous component with small angulated glands. Moderate cytologic atypia is present. Glia cell carcinoma. Hobnail type cells are projecting from the surface and have high grade hyperchromatic nuclei that is grade 3 tombstone appearance of the nuclei and vacuolated clear cytoplasm. Xenophilic colloid like cytoplasmic droplets occasionally resulting in a targetoid pattern. This photo shows clear cell carcinoma arising within an endometriotic cyst. Low power view shows nodules of clear cell carcinoma protruding into the cystic lumen. High power view shows clear cell carcinoma with background of pigmented histiocytes. Immunohistochemistry. Clear cell carcinoma shows positivity for napsin A, diffuse expression, but focal positivity is not infrequently. HNF1 beta, hepatocyte nuclear factor 1 beta, it shows nuclear staining. 
retained expression of MSH6. It is a microsatellite instability marker. It shows negativity for ER, PR, and WT1. Differential diagnosis of ovarian chilia cell carcinoma. Metastatic chilia cell renal cell carcinoma. Features favoring metastatic chilia cell renal cell carcinoma are prominent sinusoidal vasculature, absence of hobnail cells, intraluminal blood, colloid-like secretions, positivity for CD10, RCC, and PAX8, negativity for cytokeratin-7, keratin-34, beta-E12, and napsin-A. Ovarian yolk sac tumor. Clear cell carcinoma may be difficult to distinguish from yolk sac tumor, particularly when it occurs in younger women. Ovarian yolk sac tumor is characterized by young age, elevated serum alpha fetoprotein levels, a reticular growth, and pseudopapillary structures with Sheila Duval bodies, brightly isenophilic hyalin globules inside and outside the tumor cells, lack of complex and hyalinized cores of papillary structures of clear cell carcinoma, a diffuse nuclear positivity for SALL for a transcription factor, a uniform a strong positivity for alpha fetoprotein, positivity for glibican 3, which is more sensitive than alpha fetoprotein, 100% positive versus 80% positive. Please note that apart from yolk sac tumor, Elevated levels of serum alpha fetoprotein are seen in patients with hepatoid carcinoma of the ovary, embryonal carcinoma, occasional sertoli ledic cell tumors, especially those showing a retiform pattern. Serous carcinoma. This photo shows an overlapping morphology between serous and clear cell carcinomas. Both nublas display high-grade nuclear features. However, mitotic indices tended to be lower in clear cell carcinoma. Areas of more characteristic growth patterns of each neoblasm usually are present. Clear cell and papillary serous adenocarcinomas are considered to be poor histopathologic subtypes. Serous carcinoma is distinguished from clear cell carcinoma by bilateralism, branching, complex, irregular, thick papillae, less prominent hyalinized cores, more prominent cellular stratification, tufting and budding, more pronounced nuclear pilomorphism, conspicuous mitotic activity, mitotic count exceeds 12, mitosis pair, 10 high power fields, negativity for napsin A, positivity for P53, P16, ER, and WT1. Treatment and prognosis of clear cell carcinoma. Clear cell carcinoma is associated with more than 70% and 15% five-year survival for women with stage 1 and stage 3 respectively. 
These survival rates are, in general, poorer than those for ovarian carcinomas of other cell types. The treatment for clear cell carcinoma is merely surgical. Chemo resistance is common. Immunotherapy with pemprolizumab antibody against PD-1 may be of benefit in patients with MMR deficient ovarian clear cell carcinoma. Negative prognostic factors include advanced stage, most important, positive lymph nodes, lymphovascular invasion, immunohistochemistry such as apparent P53 and nuclear expression of beta-catenin, genetic alterations including amplification of MET or MDM2. Benign and borderline ovarian clear cell tumors. They are extremely rare. They can be pure or be associated with obviously malignant clear cell carcinomas. Their growth pattern is most commonly that of an adenofibroma, clear cell adenofibroma. Clear cell adenofibroma contains glands lined by benign clear or flattened cells. The border line tumors are identified because of moderate to marked degrees of epithelial proliferation and atypia, absence of recognizable stromal invasion, Clear cell adenofibroma and borderline tumors are clinically benign. They are treated with oophorectomy with or without hysterectomy, which is almost always curative. These are the references. Thank you.